Hello, hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I am your reader, Jay. These are going to be general messages. Oh my god, I almost dropped the deck. <laughs> general messages for Capricorn in June 2019. Hello, 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 Capricorn. How are you guys doing? I am in a weird mood, guys. I hope you are doing well. I don't know what it is about this Saturday. Maybe there's a moon cycle or something going on that I don't know about, but I feel a little weird. I gotta tell you at the top. <laughs> anyway, Capricorn, I have shuffled off camera. That is your main spread there. We're gonna shuffle now on camera for your outcome and your overall energy. Once all the cards are out and they're lying face up on the table, that's when the reading begins. Just to show you, the Knight of Wands just peeked out. I don't know if you're dealing with a fire sign, but boom, hello. <laughs> Uh, and maybe that's it, you know, somebody that pops in and out of your life, I don't know. Anyway, uh, shuffle now for the outcome, overall energy, all cards are out. When they're all out, that is when the reading begins. You can check in the description box below for the timestamp. You can also look down there for the information you need if you want to get a personal with me. I do not currently... What was I about to say? Wow. I don't know what that means. So the word that they had in my head was remote control. Guys, this is so weird. And I got to tell you, if I'm honest, your meditation was kind of weird for me as well. Like, it took a long time to be able to connect with your energy. It took a long time before I felt clear enough to lay the spread. And then now, in the middle of, like, my pretty textbook opening... Telling you about the readings, how to go and get, get a personal with me, and the word that I do not have a remote control. What the fuck? I don't know. It's very strange. Anyway, if you want a personal with me, it will be down in the description box. All the steps that you need are there. But uh, if you do have questions, since it is sort of a new menu that's down there, uh, three different sizes of readings. That's the first time I've done that on my channel. So if you have any questions that need to be qualified or cleared up, I will certainly answer them for you. All you got to do is email me at the same address, okay? I don't have a remote control. That is like sticking in my head because it's so weird to be just like, ugh. it's a weird day. It's been strange. <sighs> Give me a second, guys. Let me go ahead and chill out here for a second. Capricorn, please. General messages and energies. Capricorn, June 2019. Okay, that quickly, I felt a little clearer there. Anyway, let's go ahead and get you an outcome and an overall for your month, okay? Hopefully. <laughs> God, what is going on today? Outcome for Capricorn in June 2019. Outcome for Capricorn in June 2019. Show me. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the overall. Okay. Pick it up. Come on. There you go. I'm going to take a break after this reading. I'm telling you that. I thought I was going to be able to do three of you guys back to back, but no. No, I will not. I can feel that. And that makes sense. I've been... I, I need to take more breaks. That's, that's, that's for me. Alright, guys. Let's see what's going on. Please show me where... Ge I almost said Gemini. Excuse me. Please show me where Capricorn is in June 2019. Please show me Capricorn in June 2019. Please show me where Capricorn is. Thank you. All right, cool. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Some of you may know. I don't know if I did it for your reading uh, in May or April, but um, you know, I ask for where the sign is, and I get my guidance. And for a while, they were like sharply pulling my neck to one side, and they did it again just now. But it was like half a tug, and it was weird. It's just weird. What is going on? Maybe that's what's, you know, maybe I'm channeling for your guys' energy. Maybe I'm channeling for a few of you. 
maybe that's like a high theme in your life what is going on i don't know but regardless how you come into june capricorn <clears throat> excuse me you come in with the sun card so that's nice secondary major arcana card in theme in 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 general understanding it's nice uh secondary major arcana card for leo so you might have a leo in your life with significance but you do not have to have that uh and I say it's good because, you know, the sun is generally understood in the tarot to be the most or one of the most positive cards in the tarot possible that you could get. Uh, as a major arcana, it acts as a trump, so it sort of outweighs the minor arcana and certainly would be hard to contest by the other majors. So it's very intense. It's very, 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 very formidable. It's, it's, it's just the one, you know what I mean? Like energetically the one I should say and so maybe some of you have that feeling of like this top of the line you know skyscraper penthouse flying high can't be touched can't be daunted can't be you know told no just like you're feeling exuberant some of you <sighs> the th thank you so the undertone here, or the overtone, I suppose you could think of it either way, is that I chose this deck, rather I was guided to choose this deck because my conscious, very like egotistical side was, not egotistical, but my ego was like, what? Why would he use the zombie tarot in June? Like thematically, that doesn't make sense. Like, shouldn't we wait till the fall or shouldn't we wait till, you know, Halloween or something? And my guys are just like, use the damn zombie tarot deck. And I was like, okay, fine. Now, thematically, undertone, overtone, whatever, it has really applied to most of the readings. This idea of dire situation, this apocalyptic, high stakes, high stress, just craziness of what this deck is depicting has applied to almost all the readings, okay? For you, Capricorn, it applies in this way. This sun card, number one, is depicting a very bright yellow helicopter that is, what, escaping from this zombie-infested building there, rising to a new day, looking for new horizons with the maybe sunset or sunrise. Like, you know, you can't really tell with the, the sun down here by my finger. So, but there's this moving on energy trying to find some type of safety in some other area so that's kind of maybe potentially hold on a second maybe potentially for some of you you're trying to get out of a not so great situation with whatever area of your life it's in and you have high expectations or you're being really optimistic about it. You've been told yes about something. And so you're just hopping in the next plane, train or automobile to move on to that new situation, that new job, that new house, that new relationship, whatever. And again, I think this is tying to all that bullshit that was going on in your opening. Like I felt ready to do your reading, but then I... The shuffling was kind of eh, and then I almost dropped the cards, and then I said what I said in my usual greeting speech, and it's just like something in the background is a little fuzzy or uh, st staticky. Okay, they're going to put it to me like this. Say, Capricorn, you're making a dish, and it involves several ingredients. You need some eggs. You need some milk, you know, other things like that. You have all the ingredients and you go to make it and then you realize, ah, the milk is out of date. Oh, you know, it's, you know, the eggs, they've been in the fridge for about, you know, three weeks. Are they safe? Can I use them? Like there's something where you intend to make this meal, this dish, and you can. I don't know about you. Some people are sticklers about that stuff. And maybe I'm revealing a lot about myself here on the internet. But, you know, if milk has gone past its ex expiration date by like a day or two, I do a smell and a taste test. If it smells good and it tastes good, it's usable. Other people are just like, oh my God, it went off on the 23rd. It's the 24th. They 
pour it down the sink. I'm just like, that's a waste. So maybe you're in that camp. I don't know. But there's like this very questionable ingredient in the dish that you want to make. Like the milk smells a little off, but it tastes fine. Should you continue to make this meal? Should you continue to cr create this dish? There's something like this one thing that's like off, slightly off. And that's why uh, this optimism and this excitement that's in the sun card, this getting in a helicopter and, and moving to a safer area, maybe a city that's not overrun by zombies, feels good, but there's like something off about it. Okay, so think of it that way. <clears throat> you're able to get on this helicopter, maybe, in this in this world, right? Let's say you're on that helicopter, Capricorn. But you know, or you suspect, or you're not sure, there's people behind, there are people left behind. Maybe you got separated from, you know, someone in your, in your group, someone in your family, whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you make it to safety, but you're like, I don't know if they're alive, I don't know if they're dead. <coughs> we lost communication. Excuse me, hold on. I need to pause. Hold on. All right, guys, sorry about that. So there's this idea or this feeling of I'm going to a better place. I'm going to be all right. But are they all right? Maybe you feel like you're leaving someone in the lurch. Maybe you feel as though you're, you're just unsure about... <clears throat> You're unsure about something, even though you feel really good about where you're going or what you're moving towards or where you've come to or like, it's weird, like a tinge of regret, maybe a tinge of guilt or self-doubt, something, it's like very marginal. I'm going to say that very marginal overall Capricorn, you feel good, but Part of you is just like, eh, am I sure? 10% of you, like this is you as an individual. Maybe 10% of your mind is just like, ah, I'm worried about that thing, you know? Because again, like the, like the analogy I was making with the recipe, you can create whatever you're making with the eggs, the milk, the flour, whatever. You can make it. It's still going to create a cake or cookies or pancakes or whatever you're making. And it's not so off as in t as if to ruin what you're making it's just ah you know the milk expired two days ago i don't want to go out and you know or i don't have enough money to go to the store to get more milk this is all i have i'm gonna make these pancakes you make the pancakes you butter them up you, you pour the syrup you eat it you're fine you don't die you don't get sick nobody else in the house gets sick it's fine but for two seconds, you're just like, mm, should I use this milk? It's a little expired. Does, I hope that makes sense. Nothing is stopping your progress with that sun card. Nothing. You're flying off into the sunset to safety. You're good. But for two seconds, you're just like, ah, should I? Oh no, is this the correct circumstances? Or uh, is this going to work out for me? Yes. But somewhere in the background, you're just like, I don't know weird weird i don't know why that i have to stress that because ultimately the sun card as i was telling you is positive it's full of affirmation it's full of confirmation it's full of positivity it's full of optimism maybe that's all you maybe you've got a person in your midst or just like a little bit of self-doubt now what else is going on because i've talked that to death <sighs> all right so You've got other people around you, for sure. You have other people around you. So what's going on? Are you, like, rising above them? Are you... Are you... What's going on here? Mm. Well, you stopped waiting. That's for sure. Okay, so we stopped waiting. Seven of hazards in reverse, a.k.a. the seven of pentacles in reverse. Show you this card up right so you can get used to it. So you stopped waiting. You know, this is an evaluation period. When you look at it, it's the scientist doing experiments with a zombie kid or whatever behind that, you know, glass there. So experimentations, analyzing, that takes time, that takes efforts, that takes patience, that takes whatever. 
in the reverse, we're not doing that anymore. Experiments are over, trials are over, you know, evaluation periods are over. It's now is the time for action. You know, the seven of hazards is a time to pause, reflect, and really consider everything that's going on in a situation. With the seven of hazards, again, in reverse, we're just like, okay, we have enough data, we have enough information, we've waited long enough, we are ready for this, we are ready for that. And I think that makes sense because, you know, the sun card being right above you. And this is also weird. The cards are just all kinds of askew girls, guys. I don't know what that means, but they're just like, are you faking the funk? Is that what this is? Is that what this energy is? Like you're overcompensating, maybe? I, I'm not feeling that fully. That's more of a... <sighs> like my mind is saying that. I'm not necessarily getting that as like a hit. I'm not necessarily getting that fully through this empathic thing that I have. It's more of like a thought. Why do I keep getting knocked off my game as the reader? Why am I getting distracted? Why am I acknowledging these weird things? Why am I having to pause the video to take a drink of water and clear my throat and cough? Why am I not able to do what I want to do as a straight avenue, as a straight line? Just get through it. That, to me, could indicate that that's going on for you. Are you trying to get over something with the sun card? Are you trying to escape a situation? Are you trying to move on to better pastures in whatever realm of your life this is hitting? But you keep getting reminded or pulled back into something or sidetracked or sidelined or, you know, monkey wrenches are coming at you left and right. Is there just this interruption in your life, an interjection into your path of moving forward? Does that make sense? Okay. I had to draw attention to that now that I feel it. Yes, that was correct. That wasn't just a thought. Thank you. They're so cute. That wasn't just a thought. <laughs> sort of was kind of what that felt like. It wasn't just a thought. I don't... <laughs> Moving on. So, Seven of uh, Hazards, aka Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, you've, you've waited long enough. You've got no more to give to a situation, no more thought to give, no more consideration to give, maybe. And the time is right. The time is right, is how they want me to say it. The time is right for you to do whatever you're doing. I think you're doing this now. I don't think this is like upcoming, or, or rather, I don't think this is a past energy. I think it's going to be either happening now or it's it's soon to come, soon to pass for you, Capricorn. So we're making moves, right? No more stagnancy, no more pausing. You know, let's get the show on the road here. And I like that for you because I think, again, it aligns well with what majorly is going on with you in the sun card. You feel positive, you feel optimistic, you feel hopeful, you have goals and desires in this world, you have happiness and joy in this world, and you want to seize it or you want to maintain it. So in order to do that, I can't sit on the sidelines. I have to keep this momentum up, right? Perfect. I like it. But here we go. We got trouble. In, we got trouble, man. There's trouble outside of this. One. Yes. Oh. Okay. Listen. You want to go. That's, that's This card, the sun card, very dynamic. Action, momentum, yeah? Blockade. Here we go. Emperor, right next to you. Major Arcana card for uh, Aries. So you might have an Aries in your life of significance, but you don't have to. Who's blocking you? For most of you, this is somebody else. This is another person or situations and circumstances around you. But mm, do you have a barricade or what? Obstacle. This person. This energy. My God. Get out the way. Mm-mm. Like how I'm waving this card. Mm -mm. Somebody's doing this to you. Mm -mm. You're like demanding. Get out of my way. Mm -mm. That's the thing about this emperor. Very combative. Very fierce. Very strong. Quite formidable. 
but not not a rager. Like this person's power is like a like a like they're showing me a dam, like Hoover Dam, right? Massive structure holds back what? I don't even know how you, I don't even know how much water is 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 being held back by the Hoover Dam. But God forbid if the dam burst. God forbid if that thing sprung a leak. I'm sure it's leaking right now, but you know what I mean, like a major crack in 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 the fa in the structure of the Hoover Dam, right? Disaster. It would be a disaster. This person has that type of energy, explosive energy. Like once the dam breaks, it's over, buddy. It's over. Okay? I don't know who this is in relation to you. Emperor energy usually indicates older male if you want to get into that type of mindset about it. But this could be a female. And older male can come in all shapes and sizes. Husbands, fathers, grandfathers, boyfriends, brothers, uncles. It doesn't matter. They are... They're a force to be reckoned with. Like, they're not easily defeated. Okay, so, I mean, look at the card, for God's sakes. This guy, that stance, that confidence, that stoic figure, and protective of that, that small child there. Smart, industrious, clever, because he's barricaded the door. Resourceful, he's got a shotgun and an axe. This person, energy, whatever it is, Capricorn, mm, it could be you. I don't, I'm, but I, mm, for most of you, this is somebody else. And they're a doozy. And they don't want you to leave. They don't want to see you progress. They don't want you to come close to them in some cases. They don't want to allow you entry. Maybe that's why some of you are like very optimistic and you're on your way towards something, but you're cautious about what you're going towards. Some of you, this person will not allow you in. Mm -mm. This finger wagon thing, okay? Jesus, who is that? I don't know who that is. Again, I'm getting like older male. And when I say male, let me unpack that for some of you. That's why I said it could be a female and you're like, yeah, it doesn't make sense. When I say older male, I should have said older masculine. I get an older masculine energy from this card. Like in our world, the way that we usually paint up masculinity is to put it in a male figure, but masculinity as energy, as force, whatever you want to think of it, it exists all over us or all around us. And it can exist in what we would describe as female bodies or female presentations. So that's why I said it could be a female. The energy is masculine. It's dominant. It does not hold back. It does not compromise. Dog with a bone. Very forceful. My God. I don't like this person because if I'm honest, I'm, I'm a little fearful of this person. Now, I say I, I, I. That is a channel. Some of you are afraid of this person. I'm a little afraid. If I'm not afraid, I'm intimidated. If I'm not intimidated or afraid, I am tired from this person. They've exhausted me. I thought I could fight. I thought I could contend with this person. I would have the wherewithal to, to, to continue and, 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 and not, come, not want to throw in the towel. This son of a bitch here is like, yes, get it. It's like the Terminator. Now look, I don't know about you. I'm excited about that new Terminator movie. That's just a sideline. Go back to the I the first Terminator movie. The first one. How fucking terrifying was the Terminator? Not Arnold Schwarzenegger playing the Terminator, but the idea of this unstoppable machine from the future, from some some far future with this incredible intelligence and this and this ability, this technology that this had one mission to stop John Connor. That's all I'm doing. Any barricade, any obstacle, any blowback. 
the Terminator Arnold in his form and in his machine form, he took care of business. I'll be back. I'm going to drive a goddamn car up in this police station. I need to see John Connor. You can't see him. He's in jail. Oh, yeah? Boom. All right. I'm in here. I need to get the junk. This person is unstoppable. Terminator energy from this person. My God, who are you dealing with? And again, you're you're going towards them. Some cases, some of them, most cases, you're going away from them, and that would make sense. Like, look at the orientation of these cards. He's standing firm, and that helicopter is flying away from him. So, in most cases, you're flying away from him. Some of you want to get close to this person, and you're just not going to get close to him. They're cut off from you for some reason. Maybe some are in jail. I don't know. But, oh my God, I don't know who this is to you. Your dad, your, your, your mother. I don't know who this is, but my God. You've met your match, my friends. Because, you know, Capricorn, you have resiliency. You, you're resourceful. You're very strong. But, <sighs> I'm not feeling you besting this person. Like, right now. Where you might want a resolution, where you're thinking me leaving the situation, the relationship, the business, some of you leaving town. Like, again, that Terminator shit. Like, they thought, we'll get away from them. Drive all night. The machine doesn't sleep. The Terminator does not require bathroom breaks does not need a coffee to stay awake on the road. That thing keeps moving. You think you can get away from this person? Girl, guy, I'm sorry. They are there. Terminator. Holy shit, I don't like it. I picked, yeah, is that right? I picked this up myself, is that right? Ooh, yes, okay. Justice, right beneath that. So another Major Arcana, so, uh, this is Major Arcana for Libra. So some of you might be dealing with a Libra, but you, this situation between you and the Emperor involves justice, involves courts, involves law enforcement. This is some serious shit. Um, you might be going to court, battling it out, you know, yelling, arguing. There's contention here, heavy contention here. And something hangs in the balance. Maybe someone's freedom hangs in the balance in this court situation. Maybe someone is risking going to jail or, or the potentiality for prison time hangs in the balance. Maybe. For others, thank you. Whew. Remember, the emperor has that kid by his, by his side. Some of you, this is custody. Your, your ex, you guys are having it out over these kids. And you're optimistic. You feel good with your chances. But this guy, he's got, for some of you, he's got something up his sleeve. Yeah? He has an ace in the hole. He, Because, again, the emperor is clever. He doesn't move much, stoic, very still. But the, the potentiality, the explosiveness, the force behind what he has to bring to the table is immense. Do not underestimate him. I don't think you are. But, and maybe that's like that sliver of doubt that I was talking about. Is you know this person is not an easy mark. You know that. Anyway. So. Court system. Custody. Anything else. Some of this is about. Oh God. This is about illegality. Some crime. High crime very damaging crime or the stakes are high if this is about some illegal activity and you Capricorn mostly feel you're in the clear but you some of you are worried about what the Emperor has on you that can implicate you to the crime that can implicate you to something and you be on the hook for it you know and that's the other thing about the emperor. He'll take you down. You know, I rule the entire empire. If I go down, you best believe my right hand man or my right hand woman, they're going down with me. You know, he, 
he's not necessarily petty that way, but because he has this very warlike posture, because again, if you think about the traditional tarot or the traditional understanding of what an emperor is, it's not an elected official. I mean, in most cases, it's somebody who gets there by working their way up the rank or they're inherited into that position, you know, uh, uh, lineage. And in order to maintain it, I got to act like a boss. And old time bosses, they ran war campaigns. They conquered other countries and other societies. They decimated villages because, listen, I'm the emperor. And the village bites back or the village says, no, you're not our emperor. You're not a ruler. Get the hell out of here with that shit. And the emperor says, okay, I'll be back. I'll be back. I got something for you. I got something for you. And he unleashes his wrath on that village because they push back. If you don't go with the emperor's program, he will take you down. Some of you have that going on here. You've pushed back against the emperor. You think you have escaped his grasp, his, his, his reach. You think you're out of his reach. He reaches that, that scene again from the Terminator. I hated that scene as a kid. If you don't know this movie, I'm sorry. I'm about to spoil it for you. But it's like towards the end where Sarah Connor is like crawling. You know, she's on that walkway in the factory or whatever and she's crawling and the terminator with his one hand just keeps coming after her and like she thinks it's dead and it grabs her ankle like it's that terrifying moment where you think i'm almost free and that son of a bitch metal hand is like gotcha now of course it's a movie she gets away happy happily ever after but here we are in 2019 where we see sarah Connor's back guys anyway <laughs> I don't like this. It's making me uncomfortable, if I'm honest. Um, if it's not legal, if it's not courts and custody, if it's not jail time, we're talking justice from the universe. We're talking, in some cases, I keep saying this word, and so I'm going to have to start incorporating it, even though I'm not necessarily here for it, but I think it's because that's what people are equating it to. Justice equals karma. So some of you feel there's justice being done to you or to the other person, and that's some kind of karmic justice. That's your purview. You can you can think that if you want. But there is this idea of something, a score is being settled, my friends, and I hope whatever outcome happens, it favors you. But here's the caveat with that. Maybe dozens of you will watch this. Maybe hundreds or thousands of you will watch this. I don't know. And that's the trouble with the general reading is it can't work out for everybody. Statistically, it's just not possible that all Capricorns that watch this video will succeed, will get what they want, will we'll have justice on their side. That's just not feasible, guys. That's just not the way the world works. I hope it is for you guys. But maybe and it's not supposed to be that way and maybe and that and that me having to clarify that is coming from the presumption that all capricorns were good or you know innocent quote unquote quote unquote good quote unquote innocent in this situation were the victims in this situation not all of you were okay i don't, I don't know why i gotta do that but phew, shit so what's going on over here then no Oh boy. <sighs> oh gosh. Who's who's this? Fear. Well, no shit, but why? Who's this? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Wow. And I I nodded my head so hard at that. Okay. For the most part, this is both of you. This is both Capricorn. Yeah? Okay. Thank you. So, this situation over here that is heavily, heavily influenced by your interaction with the Emperor. You needing to move on, being hopeful about moving on, being hopeful about what's coming up next in your life, moving from a place of, I've, I've, I've studied it enough, I've waited long enough, now is the time to act. And now we come over here after dealing with the emperor, dealing with justice. We get this page of swords energy for you. Air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Just to, just to illustrate the tarot, it has, I don't think this is anybody else but you. It could be, because 
Okay, thank you. It could be because again, we have a child here and I did talk about custody and pages are equated to children or youth in, in the tarot. So maybe it's your child or maybe it's a child of significance in the situation. Maybe it's your grandchild and I don't know. Uh, but the idea here is look at this. If you know the tarot, look at the difference or, or consider the difference, I should say. Page of Swords. Very scared. Yeah. Timid. In other depictions, you could say timid, but I would never say scared for a page. Pages usually are a lot more precocious, a lot more, you know, too big for their britches kind of energy, often. But this page is so scared. Defensive, also. Which... Some of the pages, depending on which depiction you're, depiction you're looking at, you could see it as defensive or you could see it as offensive. But this is like totally defensive. This is totally, I'm trying not to engage. I'm trying not to, uh, you know, because if you can see, there's like that shadow of a zombie coming after this kid. So what am I, what am I, what am I saying all that for? So for you, Capricorn, I feel... Some of you are afraid, very protective of yourselves or, or your children or whatever. And it's this feeling of not being prepared enough. You know, like I said, pages are equated to children or youthful energy, younger energy, less mature energy. So perhaps some of you thought you were ready for whatever is going on over here. You thought you could handle it. You thought you would be able to get a re resolution or result that you desire. But the coming out of it, the unfolding of the situation at hand is proven to be more than you feel capable. Not that it won't happen, but you just don't feel necessarily capable of it. Can I handle the court's decision if this involves the emperor or whoever going to jail what does that mean what does that really mean can i handle if i'm in a custody battle over my kids and being awarded full custody and knowing that my ex now has no ties to my children that's the that's the result some of you want but then you're like oh can I really handle that? Can I really imagine the next 10, 15 years of my child's life and their 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 co-parent, their other parent being behind bars? Like some of you are just like, what? It's It's strange. So beyond this feeling of fear or unprepared preparedness or not knowing, not feeling capable to handle whatever is going to happen next, whatever is developing. I also get this feeling of observation. You know, for some of you, this whole emperor and him being so fierce and so intense, again, there's distance between you. The emperor is in, in the inside, some building, barricaded in, and you in your starting position, presumably you're inside that helicopter floating above it all. So maybe you're not in battle with the emperor. Maybe you are just watching the emperor battle the court system. Again, that's for maybe for that group of where it's an illegal thing, where you want your husband or your wife to get off. You don't want them to go to jail. Judgment comes down, sends them to jail. So then you just are standing by and you're watching it. You're just watching this court's battle go on or this this trial go on my Dios mio my friends and it's this still this feeling of watching and being incapable unable to do anything about it i can't i can't beat the courts i can't beat the judge i can't you know i can't do anything i just have to sit here and take it hmm anything else Oh, 
And if it's not you that feels this way, because now I'm, I turned it around and now I really looked at and I just saw the kid, the kid, the kid. If that's not you, this is your children. This is your child. And that's how they feel. Watching mommy, daddy, whoever, mommy, mommy, daddy, daddy, doesn't matter. Divorce. Watching my family fall apart because you see the little family drawing there on the wall. Having that like in the background, having that being like some sense or some bit of normalcy, what used to exist. Now what's in front of me? A zombie is in front of me and I'm holding a hatchet. This is my new reality. So there's this idea of something is unfolding in front of this page of swords, whoever it is, that they have no ability to fight against. They're not. They can't compete. They can't contribute. They can't try to make something right. They can't try to to change the situation. They're just in. Oh, and I feel bad. I Wow, I feel really bad. And you, should, you guys should know. I talk about this sometimes in my videos. I don't have kids. I'm not around children. But I feel really for this kid. If it's your kid, your children, mm, boy. It's very upsetting. They're grow they're gonna have to grow up so fast in some cases. They're gonna have to and that's the thing. The page is that first rung in this hierarchy of court cards, knight or excuse me, page, knight, king, queen, king, right? The first rung. The the goal wherever we fall in that hierarchy is to always ascend, to always go higher. And we repeat that cycle. I have been a page before. I don't feel my page now, but at some point in my life, I'm going to be a page again, right? So this page, at this point in their life, no matter how old they are, five years old, 15 years old, 28 years old, you know, this could be your adult child, but they feel like a page. This could be your adult child who feels like, oh my God, my parents or, or my family's being torn apart. And they may have their own kids, you know, and they're watching you guys, you know what I mean? So there's this feeling that this person has to grow up quick. You know, again, with that family portrait, that little kid's drawing on the wall there, and with how the kid is dressed a little bit, it's a little, it's a little young, in my opinion. Um, but again, with that zombie shadow over in front of him, he has to man up. That's not, I'm not, I'm too feminist to really mean that, okay? But you know what I mean? It's like, you gotta, you gotta show up quick. You gotta mature into this situation quickly because the circumstances are gonna change very, very fast. And you have to meet this new normal. Your parents are divorced. Your one parent is in jail. The one parent loses custody or the custody is now shared as opposed to what it was before where the child was exclusively with one, whatever got to meet that energy, meet those circumstances where they are, okay? Pardon me, meet the challenge of it all. Now, King of Wands right above. Oh boy, who is this? For some it's you, and that, that this kind of echoes what I was feeling. So for some of you, despite this hopefulness, and that would make sense. Oh my God. I was like, this is weird. I said that in the beginning. If you skip the beginning, go back. I was basically feeling like it feels good, but there's a part of me that says, ah, caution, caution. I felt really normal starting your, starting your reading. But then I had a coughing fit. I had to pause the video. I said some stupid shit in the middle of my greeting that I would never say I don't have a remote control. That means nothing. Total curveball, total monkey wrenches out of nowhere. I don't expect to just come in here and say things that don't apply to the, to the reading or don't, that don't go into, you know, the introduction that I thought of ahead of time. So here you are hopeful that things will go the way you want in that sun card. Everything's going to be all right. I'm, I'm, I'm moving on, you know, hopeful, very, very optimistic feeling good, riding high, okay, with the helicopter ride, okay, and then what are you headed towards? Again, look at the orientation of the card. You're flying where? 
to the King of Wands in reverse. Now, when the King of Wands is in reverse, guys, one, there's a lot more bark, or excuse me, there's a lot more bite than there is bark. I think the King of Wands, when he's in reverse, can become more volatile, can become more unstable, or more ready for a fight. All right, so some of you, you're getting that judgment from the court and you're like, appeal, appeal, appeal. You know, you're doing everything that you can. You're talking to your lawyers. What's the next step? And the lawyers are like, there is no step. That's the judgment. You're like, fuck that. I don't accept that. So there's this mm, insolence with the king of wands in reverse. Will not accept defeat. Right? That that can be good. I don't know if that's good for you guys, if I'm honest. That's for you to decide. That's that's going to play out in your life however it's going to play out. But there is this, you know, <laughs> go <laughs> another 80s movie. Goonies never say die. It's just like this resiliency, stubbornness within the King of Wands when he's reversed. Now, the bad side, and that, I mean, but what I just said could have a bad side too, right? But what I'm really feeling here is also there's a loss of power. There's a loss of drive. There's a loss of focus. There's a loss of tenacity or, or, uh, wise, wise, wisdom. Any type of wisdom, you know, the King of Wands isn't known to be wise. The wisest king is probably either the King of Pentacles or the King of Swords. So he's not super wise, but what he has is now out the window. Okay. So there's some of you now, you were playing smart. Oh God, please don't do this. When we're dealing with court systems and, and the law, right? Sometimes you are decreed, you are told, you cannot have communication with the other partner or, or the other person in this case, the other person in this, in this uh, situation. No communication between the two of you directly under court order. Some of you are gonna say to hell with that and you're gonna contact this person or they're going to contact you and you're going to bite that bait. Don't do that. Because again, the little bit of wisdom that the King of Wands has is totally gone when he's in this reverse position. Be smart. Be smart. Talk through the lawyers. Talk through whatever intermediated, intermediary uh, channel you are allowed to talk to. Talk through. Do not engage directly with this person. Especially if it's the Emperor. The King of Wands in reverse versus the Emperor. Ooh, girl. <sighs> I don't like those odds. Okay. So let's be smart about this. As smart as you can be. Loss of focus. Loss of, uh, loss of uh, creativity or feeling uh, capable. Again, that's kind of mirrored down here with the Page of Swords. And again, if this is your child and this is you, you both feel incapable to deal with the situation. You both don't know what to do going forward. You both feel at a loss or as if you're, you're backed into a corner, you know, and you have to do something to defend yourself or you have to do something considering the new circumstances. You don't know what you're doing. You're learning as you go. You gotta, you gotta mature or quote unquote man up, uh, much under, under not so great circumstances, you know, I, I don't like that. And I don't like all that engine work out there either. <laughs> Thanks cars on the street <laughs> anyway and the and the ac came on at the same time so i guys i don't know what you're gonna do i don't know what you can do I, and strangely strangely and again maybe that's going back to the probability of this some of you are gonna be okay some of you are just putting all your money putting all your emphasis and eggs in the basket of hope and that's working for you or it will work for you. So for, for this reading, it's a general reading, so it makes sense. But I feel I'm also channeling. It's not a wash. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a defeat. There is still something going on here for some of you that will end positively, that will go the way you want it to, that will give you the result that you desire. I God, I don't know, but like I just said, I'm, I'm, it sounds like I'm con contradicting myself, but I think it works if you really think from a broader perspective of what I'm talking about. But I also feel it's kind of fucked for others of you. 
both groups, I feel you believe you're in the first group. No matter if you really are or not, you're you are in the self belief of I'm in I'm in the clear. I'm gonna get what I want. All of you, for the most part, believe that. Some of you will have a rude awakening. Okay? Outcome. King of Cups. Water sign energy. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You might be dealing with one of them, but, you know, it's general. You, you, you might not know anybody who is a water sign. But as the outcome, here we go. We've learned something here. Deeply emotional. Look at it. He's submerged in the water. Submerged totally in that water. In other depictions of the King of Wands, he sits on top of the water, maybe on an island, maybe he has his toes in the water, or maybe he has like a big cup, a big chalice, but no, this guy, he's in it. He's in the water all the way. So we have a big acknowledgement or a big uh, understanding of our situation from an emotional standpoint. I'm saying we as if I'm part of you, Capricorn, so this is you. You understand. You've learned something. Your eyes are open to something. Wide open. Your eyes are so open. Look at that guy. And he's got those binoculars. You you can't deny what you now know. Now, what do you know? Well, I think you've learned Some things, like I feel like you've learned that some things that you thought were in your control, that you had a handle on, are not that way. Again, tying that back to the justice system, tying it back to your formidable opponent in the emperor. You thought you had a handle on something, you thought you were, you know, basically the captain of the ship, and now look, you're sunk. You're underwater. This guy, at some point, thought he was the captain of a ship. Leader. In control. No. What he said was the rule. Now, that's just not the reality. So we're having to, in some cases, compromise with something or compromise with someone. Come to terms with the new normal. Which, again, we kind of talked about a bit there with the pages, the page of swords and the, and the, and the king of wands. We have to create something new here or 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 some semblance of normalcy with what's new and then with the king of wands or excuse me the king of uh, cups and his, being underwater like that you're not really talking about it that much your mouth is under the water your eyes are on top of the water so you see clearly right you're not looking through murky water but your mouth your vocal abilities are uh, Mm -mm. So you might not be expressing either knowledge or acceptance or whatever. I hope you understand. Like you're not you're not expressing much when it comes to this situation. If this hasn't been like something family oriented, or it hasn't been something where a lot of people know you've been embattled in the court system, you might not tell any. You may not have told anybody that you've been going to trial that you're in some type of, of, of litigation. You may not have told anyone. This would show that you're going to continue to not talk about that. You know? In the case of where someone might be going away, doing a prison term, you might not tell people. I know people, or I know of people, I don't know them personally, but my friends tell me stories of people who, oh my God, without revealing too much, this is the exact story of somebody that one of my friends works with or is friends with or something like that where one of my friend's friends so a friend of my friend has a kid with someone who is in jail has been for several years but has not literally had that discussion with the child has not said daddy's in jail has said daddy's at work daddy travels for his job or whatever the lie is whatever the spin is here and the kid has a lot of questions the kid is like i want to go see my dad goes to see the freaking kid this is a young kid or excuse me this is a young child like less than like six i think less than six years old or young, less than younger than six years old 
And they, you know, go to this, according to my friend, she says that they go to the prison with the kid. Let's go visit daddy at work. What? I'm not saying this is exactly what you guys are doing, but that, I'm just to illustrate it to you. That's how some people operate in this world. They will rather tell a lie about their reality, about the truth of the situation, than just say the damn truth. For some reason, to some people, the truth hurts more than the lie, or the truth is somehow somehow harder to deal with than some crazy concocted story about my dad. Your dad is at work. He works inside the prison, and we can't see him because he has to stay behind this glass and talk to us through a fucking phone. What? I don't care how old the kid is in this culture, in this day and age, they will soon know. And I believe the kid does know what that is. Girl, bye. Anyway, so whatever your situation is, Capricorn, you're not really talking about it. I hope you're not spinning lies about it, but you're certainly not readily, you know, expressing your feelings about it. You're being quite mum, okay? Your overall energy. Ay, Dios mío. Four of cups. Mm, lots of... Not lots, but here at the end, we have a lot of water energy, so. Listen. <laughs> the Four of Cups traditionally talks about circumstances and, and opportunities or offers or, or just things being not so great. You know, you want a certain thing and you don't get that certain thing. And that might be true for some of you. As a theme, as an overall energy, I think that kind of applies here. But beyond that, uh, Four of Cups to me in this instance is, 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 mm, yeah, I'm getting that. Thank you. Pardon me. It's not, nope. Mm -mm. Look at this. This guy laying on the lap of that zombie, right? Look at his face. You would think he was smiling up at the most beautiful creature, the most beautiful woman in the world. The love of his life. You would think that. And maybe that's who that is. But in this reality, it's a damn zombie. It's a cold, dead corpse. So there's this idea that the reality of the situation is not what it seems, okay? from someone's perspective or, or, or through someone's eyes. Maybe you or someone else in this situation is, is wearing rose tinted glasses. You're thinking, you know, oh, the person I love is amazing. They're so full of life. Lo and behold, they're a damn zombie, you know? So someone's perception is not matching reality. Someone is trying to convince themselves that their reality is their perception, you know, and, and you could get into debates about perception is about is reality, you know, but as an overall energy, and it could apply to what existed previous to now, I'm not necessarily getting that. Like that four of cups could be historic. For you could be, you know, sort of the the decor, you know, it's just there. It's always been there, but it's not necessarily what is informing or has much impact on the future is, is what I need to be told or what I need to be told, what I need to tell you. Oh, God. What the hell was this, Capricorn? What is this? Guys, that's your reading for June. If you liked it, please hit the like button. <laughs> if you found something here that resonated with you, that would be a reason to hit the like button. Uh, you could also leave comments down below uh, explaining or, you know, giving a little insight into what's going on around here because this is crazy. I'm I, this is crazy. Uh, anyway, uh, you can also share this video across your social media platforms. That'll help me grow as a content creator. And you can also subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Uh, if you keep coming here, if this is your first time and you really had a good time, please subscribe, guys. That's 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 uh, one of the biggest goals I have is more subscribers. Um, anyway, 
Capricorn, I will be back in uh, probably two to three weeks or two, I'm going to say two and a half weeks. I'm going to try and make it two and a half weeks um, with the mid-June readings. And I'm at some point going to do a random, but the mood has to hit me. It's not today because after this, I'm taking a break and that might be it for the night. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, so you have those things to look forward to. And of course, if you're subscribed, you will be notified of those things as soon as they are uploaded. Okay. All right, Capricorn, I thank you so, 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 so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. Take care. Bye.